Praise the Lord, everyone. Today we are reading from 2 Timothy, chapter 2. Timothy, my dear son, be strong through the grace that God gives you in Christ Jesus. You have heard me teach things that I have been confirmed my, by many reliable witnesses. Now teach these truths to other trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others. Endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for they, they for then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. And athletes cannot win the races unless they follow the rules. And hardworking farmers should be the first to enjoy the fruit of their labor. Think about what I am saying. The Lord will help you understand all these things. Always remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of King David, was raised from the dead. This is the good news I preach. And because I preach this good news, I am suffering and have been chained like a criminal. But the word of God cannot be chained. So I am willing to endure anything if it will bring salvation and eternal glory in Christ Jesus to those God has chosen. This is a trustworthy saying. If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, we will reign with him. If we deny him, we will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. For he cannot deny who he is. Remind everyone about these things and command them in God's presence to stop fighting over words. Such arguments are useless and they can ruin those who hear them. Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. Avoid worthless, foolish talk that only leads to more godless behavior. This kind of talk spreads like cancer, as in the case of Hymenaeus and Philetus. They have left the path of truth, claiming that the resurrection of dead has already occurred. In this way, they have turned some people away from the faith. But God's truth stands firm like a foundation stone with this inscription. The Lord knows those who are his and all who belong to the Lord must turn away from evil. In a wealthy home, some utensils are made of gold and silver. Some are made of wood and clay. The expensive utensils are used for special occasions, and the cheap ones are for everyday use. If you keep yourself pure, you will be special utensil for honorable use. If your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master to use you for every good work, run from anything that stimulates youthful lusts. Instead, pursue Righteous, living, faithfulness, love and peace. Enjoy the companionship of those who call the Lord with pure hearts. Again, I say, don't get involved in foolish, ignorant arguments that only start fights. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone. Be able to teach and be patient with difficult people. Gently instruct those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change those people's heart and they will learn the truth. Then they will come to their senses and escape from the devil's trap. For they have been held captive 
by him to do whatever he wants. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, that you died for us on the cross and rose again from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. The same power that raised you from the dead lives within me, O God. Thank you for the grace and the salvation that you have given. We believe you, God, from the bottom of the heart, that you are our Lord and Savior. You are our Master. You are our Abba Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is not the sinful desires that lives within me, but it is the Spirit that lives within me. The Spirit that gives life, peace, righteousness, joy and hope. Thank you, God. Thank you that you are with us. Thank you that you are in us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to grow the Spirit in us. Change our hearts. Renew our minds. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Love you, God. Thank you that give us the wisdom and the understanding that we do not fall into such evil traps of foolish arguments, of lustful desires, but we stay away and be submissive and obedient to you, God, so that you are honored and glorified, O oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for choosing and creating us, O oh God. The sinful nature that came into this life never existed when you created us. The purpose of your creation. It was just the salvation, the glory, the, the spirit-filled life. Thank you for that access that you have given us, O oh God. We hold on to you strong, O oh God, that you are in us. Christ in us. I am disciplined. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Christ in me is stronger than the wrong desires in me. Nothing can separate from your love, O God. Nor demons, nor desires. Not any paths. Thank you for your word that speaks to us day in and out. Help us to meditate on your word and store it in our heart. Yes, God, let your word be deep rooted in us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone.